Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick from the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're having a nice relaxing game of chess. Well, well sort of, it's Def Chess 5000. We're not going to do ordinary chess, we're going to do the Def Chess version. So no for ordinary chess and we're going to play this thing as well. It's published by Arctic Computing in 1984. It's chess but with mini games uh, instead. Now we're going to play as white. Uh, we've played, we've reviewed a few chess games but, uh, over the years. Uh, chess from Sinclair Research in 1982, which is more traditional. Uh, Battle Chess on the Amiga and Pure Chess on the PlayStation 3, just name a few. But I'll skinny with my opening move, which I've got tanks at the front. Now when you take a piece in this, you've got a mini game instead, so you, you know, you could, you could still lose. Right, I'll just go forward here with my chess skills. Have you had this one back in the day? Let me know. I think there's two different mini games in this that you can unravel. Right, okie dokie. Uh, we've got it on the easiest mode, so hopefully the computer won't take too much uh, time to do their moves. And then I can go and, uh, well, just show you the game. Now, this isn't about expert gameplay, so I might lose. It's all about seeing how you would have got on on your first or second uh, go. Whose move is it? I've lost count. It's my move, right. Um, B2, that's the uh, tank there in square B2, going to C3. Oh, that's invalid. Um, B3 I wanted, didn't I? Not C3. It can't move like that. Or B1. Yeah, I'll do the, uh, the horse, that's it. Cool, they're, they're moving quite quick. Now, he's moved his bishop there. Um, now, what would you do here? I might try and create some carnage to release some mini games. So it's moving quite fast. Graphically, it's okay. It hasn't got all the... Um, the um, facilities that chess has from Sinclair Research, we can change the colour of the board and all that sort of stuff. But uh, it's aiming for something slightly different. Uh, Def Chess, not to get confused with Def Chase, which is a different 3D game. Uh, do check out the view of Battle Chess, which we did many, many years ago. Right, hopefully, right, there's, right, here we go. So this is a mini game. I'm the guy down the bottom. Whoever shoots whoever, it depends who wins. So I've done that, so I've won. So despite he's taken me, I've taken him, if you know what I mean. What's going on there? It's quite a weird game. Uh, Arctic Computing did a lot of basic sort of uh, games back in the day, reviewed a few of them by them. But, you know, if I can keep winning the mini games, I think I'm going to win. That's my queen there. I'm moving into play. I'm trying to get a quick win here, folks. Um, yes. Uh, this is. I'm, do, I'm being a bit more strategic than I normally would. I wouldn't mind castling my king down the bottom there. It's it's a solid game of chess. I mean, it's good that you can play the ordinary chess if you don't like these battle in a mini game. So it's got both of those there. So it's chess and a little bit extra. It would have added a bit of value back in the day. So I can recommend this one. So I'm commentating and trying to think at the same time. Always good to move your knights out. He's moved his knight out to there. This is what's called the middle game. We've had the opening and now we've got the, the middle game. Spectrum's done B8 to C6. That's the that's the horsey or the knight in better times. Now I'm just trying to think now. It's hard to commentate and play chess at the same time. What can I move here? I need to threaten him. I might move the queen up as possible. I can move that up one. Um, yes. Now I need to dispatch them. If I can keep winning the mini games. It, I don't need to be that good. Right. So there we go. I put. I was threatening their queen there, and they've immediately blocked it with the knight. If you put it on the hard mode, the computer takes about three or so minutes to um, uh, make their moves. It'll slow down quite a lot there as it tries to examine all its, its 48k to do something. Uh, might we do some sacrifices here. So we've seen one mini game of the two. Uh, one is that shooting gallery, and I think the other one you control a tank trying to get to a city. And if you get there, you've won. If they bomb the city or they bomb you, you've lost. So hopefully we'll see that at some point. Uh, all depends what mini games release, what piece takes what. E1 to A1. Doing a bit of. Well, I want, I want to do a bit of castling, really. What do I have to put it? Maybe I have to do a, uh, E1 to C1. Let me castle, please. There we go. So I've castled. There we go. Defending uh, the king. And they've castled as well. The copycats. You might not have heard of this uh, game. You would have heard of uh, Def Chase, but I don't think you would have heard of Def Chess. Imagine the kids that asked for uh, Death Chase for Christmas and got Death Chess instead. Anyway, quite a few uh, chess games about, including uh, typings. It's something the Spectrum can handle quite well. Um, right, think, think, think. 
I think the most advanced game I've played so far in terms of chess is pure chess on my PS Vita and the PlayStation 3. I think the PS Vita, I haven't reviewed any PS Vita games, but I think the PS Vita I had a few, um, or one of the two, PS3 or that, I had a few uh, upgrades where you can buy different chess sets, which was rather cool. Uh, Right, I'm going in, folks. I think I, I think I can see a checkmate on the way here. I think I'll see a checkmate. Can you see it? It's a few moves ahead yet, I think. Or is it? Yeah, I need to move the queen up and dispatch a pawn or something. I'm slowly getting there. Uh, the queen looks very much like the king in this, which uh, makes it a bit awkward on my eyes. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to pin it so he's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go to, baby. Dee 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 dee. Right, you can see I'm gradually putting this thing together. I think I'm almost there. I've moved the queen up a little bit, then peg that bish in. Uh, maybe I need to move the horsey up. Right, it attacks my brain. I'm I'm not a, a grand chess master. Uh, the amount of moves in the top left we've done so far, which comes to legs eleven. I'm available as a bingo caller if you if you want. Legs eleven, eleven. Um, right, G2 to G4. Did you see that coming? I'm I'm moving. I'm moving on up. Moving the pawn there. What have they done? They moved the queen up one. Why have they done that? Or maybe I can get. A, hmm. Yes. Nowhere to run to, baby. I would like the um, the option to change the colour of the pieces or the board. It's white versus black, it says in the initial instructions, or the initial was setting up, but it's not really, is it? It's white versus green, and that green's a little bit garish for me uh, on the blue. I wouldn't mind maybe seeing yellow. I think I'm there. One move, yeah, one move check, mate. One move check, mate. I just need to move my queen into G7, I think. Let's just double check everything. So I played a bit too good, I think. We haven't seen too many of the mini game sort of stuff. We just played ordinary chess, although it says battle chess. If I win this in 13 moves, all how me, but it is on the easiest setting. If you don't know how to play chess, then you're probably not going to get a great deal out of this game. Uh, something I learned as a kid. But, uh, you know, if you do it, then it's not too bad. And I think that is check. Yeah, checkmate. There we go. Good. Bom, 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 bom. In your face, green. Bom, 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 bom. Right, I'm going to have to have another go, but uh, forget all about tactics and be a bit more uh, cavalier. And just uh, zip in. So the author is A W J Adam. Right. Okay. So forget about tactics. Let's just create as many mini games as I possibly can. Uh, move the pawns up into battle positions. I just want to create fights now to show you a bit more of the mini games. Right. Okay. Take that pawn. C4 to D5. Right. Okay. So here's the tank. I need to avoid getting shot by the helicopters. Right, avoid the missiles and get to the city. This is exciting stuff, isn't it? Do your own theme music. This could have been good as a game on its own, this bit. This bit this bit is better than the entire game. Uh, the, notice the helicopter rotor blade isn't spinning, so I don't know how they're staying up in the air. Right, come on, let's get to the city. We built this city of rock and roll. Uh, I can't shoot with the tank upwards. It's all about survival. If they shoot me or the city, they win the piece. If I make it to the city unscathed, then I win the piece. That's pretty much it, really. Go, tank, go. All right, hopefully the city turns up soon. You'll see some artifacts on the screen. That's when they think they've used the bright one feature or try to box in the tank. Anyway, come on, city. I don't know how far we've got, but we're going over some sort of like a Paul Cullis thing. There's, there's the city, right, that looks pretty cool. Let's just get there without getting hit by a missile. We're not looking too bad so far. There's no time limit on this. Almost there. What a nice city. I just blown in from the windy city. The windy city is mighty pretty. Surely I've got it now. Oh they oh dear, look at that. They bombed the city, so that means I lost. I should have I should have yeah. I that's a timing thing. You lose. Right, so I've lost that piece. Oh anyway. So I think I might be wrong, but I think there are only two mini games in the whole of this. So let's just take it to its natural conclusion. Uh, the shooting gallery is the quickest one. So in theory, you could just keep winning that and um, win the whole game. Right, I've been, it's got, it's got check. So I'm not being as skillful as the first game because I'm just trying to create lots of battles. There we go, Queen versus Bishop. Come on, Nick, come on, Nick. Take out this thing, take it. Oh, they've shot me, I think I've lost my Queen. It's not going very well. It's chess, Jim, but not as we know it. Right, so I need to take that uh, thing. Now, E1 to D2. 
There's probably a knack for this. Prepare for combat. So this game comes up the most, it looks. There we go, got him. So any any attack involving pawns is that tank in the city. Any other stuff is this. Good. But I think uh, I think this game will be quite easy uh, once you start winning that. Maybe the mini games get different depending on what difficulty level you're on. If you know, let me know. But I think they're going to stay roughly the same. Move seven. Right, let's just demolish everything with a single pawn or tank monster. I've never seen a chess set which just involves tanks. Right, let's go again. Right, better luck, Nick. better luck this time, Nick, as we approach this city of doom. Thank you for subscribing to the channel if you have done already. If you've watched this far into the video and haven't, then it might be a case that you like this sort of stuff. Please consider subscribing. Videos go up quite regularly as we gradually uh, build up legitimately. And um, yeah, if you want to see what videos go up, um, then click on the bell notification on uh, YouTube. I'll send you an email every time one goes up. Or if you don't fancy that but still want to be notified of when new stuff goes up, follow me on the Twitter channel, Jenkins7Nick, because I put up a link the same day when videos go up. It wouldn't be as quick as uh, doing the bell, but I will do those as well. Hurrah! Right, there's the city again. Don't get hit by a missile, Nick, and then you've won. Oh, look at that. I was inches away from the city. So uh, it's much easier to win and quicker to win the the uh, like uh, the space invader shooty bit than that actually approaching the city bit. Right, let's get going. I'm getting a bit fed up now, so I just want to create carnage. I think if we get this thing in the corner, we're going to win every time. I think. Yeah, we go. Just as long as you stay ever so slightly uh, right of the enemy, I think you're going to win every time. There, that could be a bit of a flaw in this game. Now normally uh, I, I quit now, but let's just take it to natural conclusion this. Let's just keep blasting. How easy is it? Just keep to the right and I should win. There we go. That, now this is easy. He's not going to take any of my pieces outside approaching the city. So two pieces got. It's going to be carnage. Going to get him again quite easily, I would have thought. Yep, there we go. Boom. Yes. So, you know, ordinary chess or battle chess, I mean battle chess when the computer's taking your piece, you might not necessarily lose. You might not necessarily lose because it's all about what happens in the battle. Uh, battle chess on the Amiga wasn't quite like wasn't like that. They they had a they had a fight, but you always knew who was gonna win. Who's gonna win here? Well it's gonna be me, I would have thought. Bop, that was predictable. Uh, I mean this game's okay, uh but I think I would prefer ordinary chess to the death chess bit because quite clearly um, the mini games are not going to be a problem. And I think as well, as soon as I've succeeded in that approach to city and the tank bit, um, the tactic there, I'll be winning every time. Much like much like this, I, I pretty much cracked this. Uh, so I think I'll crack the other one as well. Just two mini games. I would have liked to have seen a lot more just than the two. But they're trying something different, and hats off to Arctic Computing. It was in 1984. It would have been different to any other chess game that come before it, so it would have stood out. Would I have played it a lot? Every now and again, I might have done for a bit of excitement of extra chess. Invalid move, what have I done there? Uh, for a bit of a different one. But I think I prefer the, um, the all the bells and whistles of, of chess from Sinclair Research there, or Cyan Computers, I think, had a, had a, uh, a way in that. So I think I would have played that the most, and that was from two years before. So I think I've stuck to that. This would have been a nice diversion, but Sinclair Research Chess for the win. Uh, I think there's Cyrus Chess as well that we, we looked at at some point. That, that's got a few upgrades in there too. Um, now, how are we doing here? I, I've got to take that king. I've got to end this thing. Ping. Check. Mm, right, OK. Trust them to get a check in with our horsey. I need to do a bit of movement. D2 to D1. Let's move that out of the way. What's happening here? I'm being attacked again. I can't quite see what was happening. But anyway, I've won, whatever that was. What piece has gone there? Oh, right, okay. Um, the knight come in and I've killed it. Um, right, b6. I'm moving my knight into position now. I'm going to take their bishop. Take him out of commission. There's a fight. It's this one again. Prepare for combat. Slightly to the right. Keep firing. You're going to win every time. Yes, boom. I think you know my strategy, don't you? Uh, would you... I uh, I'd recommend, would I recommend tracking this one down? Maybe just for a, a, a quick go. It's not saying to hang on to for any great length of time, just because of the uh, easiness of it. If you haven't got any chests already, you want the ordinary chest in there, uh, then do so. Right, go. I think I only need, need to do one move, and then I've won. I'll just, just, just take the king. 
take the king, uh, c8 to e7. It's one space invaders battle that we know we're going to win. And then we're there. And that should be checkmate again. Boff. Checkmate. Or we'll capture them or something. The king has been captured. The game is ended. So you do checkmate or capture them if you destroy them like that. So that's the end of their army. So long there. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. It was clever without being super exciting. The mini games were good but not abundant. Once you get used to them, you'll be winning really easily. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Def Chess 5000. Pretty good effort, I suppose. Published by Arctic Computing in 1984. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, chess or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.